Hey everyone. Today we will solve the few question from gate 2017 and 16. So I will play video one by one. Hi everyone, now we are going to discuss one gate question from gate 2019 question number 41. The structure of the intermediate P and the module product Q from in the Okay, first read the question. Can anyone tell me the answer? What is the name reaction? Anyone, please tell the answer. It may be wrong, no problem. This is a secondary amine and one keto carbonyl. And reaction with proton source. What type of reaction it is? Any answer? Am I audible, right? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Can you tell me the what, what will be the what, what will happen? One amine and one keto. What will happen? See, amine has a lone pair. Tell me, tell what will happen? It's a nucleophilic addition. Ah, then. Then see, then what will happen? Nothing will happen because N will attack and O minus. So there will be the proton exchange and then water elimination. Okay. So we can get one double bond that is called enamine. That enamine can either this side or this side. Can you tell me which enamine is more stable? I mean, more substituted or less substituted?
okay then following reaction the... sequence are so there is a one ketone and one portion is substituted with methyl group and this is secondary ketone that is uh, in that is reflux during acidic condition in presence of toluene and we get one intermediate p and that is reaction with this allyl bromide system and followed by acidic workup and we get compound q so we have to find the which option is correct so for that there is four option so first a and c basically the double bond is formed in the intermediate p in the more substituted position and in option b and d the double bond is formed in the less substituted position and followed by there is a one sn2 derivative reaction so whether the nucleophile will attack at bromine this center or this center that we have to find so for that we have to know what is the stop in amine reaction this is the name reaction so where we treated with one keto followed with reaction with secondary amine in presence of acidic condition it will it will follow it will show this type of intermediate basically nitrogen lone pair will attack to the carbonyl after that proton exchange will be happen and we will get this intermediate after that there will be the loss of water so we will get this in means double bond and amine this that's why called this is called in means double bond and this is called amine that's why called this is in amine so in our question our ketone is not symmetrical so here is one methyl group this side so when the reaction will this with this uh, amine secondary amine intergenes of the acid so there are two possibility so it can form double bond this side i mean more substituted side or in the less substituted side so we have to find out which option is correct so so if the double bond is formed in the more substituted side due to the high due to the high hyperconjugation structure this structure will be more stable so this is the basically thermodynamic product thermodynamic product and this is a kinetic product okay when this center is in double bond is this side that time this center will be sp2 right and this center will be sp3 and this is sp2 center okay so this particular center so what happen if this become sp2 this nitrogen this carbon and this methyl group come in the same side so what happen that time they are, they will face a steric with this hydrogen so that's why this type of structure is not good i mean they are they are they are more sterically disfavored but this type of structure is favor okay that is one reason to get this structure not this structure i mean our product our intermediate should be this and another reason that if we do the conjugation like this nitrogen here like this so that time negative charge will be at secondary position but if we do here that time this the the negative charge will become here like that time that will be the tertiary center okay so secondary carbonyl is more stable than a tertiary carbonyl that's why this type of intermediate is also more favored so that's why we will get less substituted double bond so after that what happen and in this reaction nucleophile can attack i mean this negative charge can attack either from this side or it can attack from here and this goes and bromine links so this there is a possibility of sn2 reaction or this is a possibility of sn2 prime reaction so normally i can say that this sn2 will be favored because after that this double bond is in the more substituted position here i mean double bond will be more substituted position that's why this type of system will be the major product but there is also possibility of attack here that time also this type of intermediate is also possible but i think this will be the major one okay so so nitrogen lone pair will attack here and attack both both the center so we will get this type of two product so here the acidic hydrolysis is basically it basically cleaves the cn double bond and it will make ketone corresponding this acidic hydrolysis is basically used to make we have in in double bond like system 
after inter this intermediate will be there. So after this will cleave this. Just is acidic water, acidic hydrolysis. So we'll get this ketone. This is the role of this. Basically, water will attack here, followed by this lingual group. So there is this both option is possible. That is given in the answer. So our so in the option A and C, as both the double bond is more substitute position, so these two options is wrong. But in option B and D, this double bond are here and here, and here also uh, that uh, that double bond is in this side and another. This where the this is SN2 reaction and this is SN2 prime reaction, both are possible. So that's why both B and D are correct answer. So for more this type of information, you can watch this NPTEL video. Thank you. It's clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Hey everyone. Now we're going to discuss one gate question from gate two either one six question number eighty. The total number of now first read the question. Can you even tell me the answer? Okay, deuterium have I is equal to 1 and fluorine have I is equal to half. Spin quantum number. Now try this. But tell me if H C H two might will be there, then how many P we will get? How many lines? Let's say C H C H two. Then for C H how many P will get? I mean what will show? If we have moiety C H bond C H three for C H hydrogen, how many P we will get? It will be quartet, right? Any answer?
line expected due to spin spin coupling of the proton with fluorine and deuterium nuclei in the 1h spectrum of the following compound is so this is carbon and it is attached with four different type of atom hydrogen deuterium fluorine and chlorine and the question is asking how this hydrogen is basically coupled with deuterium and fluorine after coupling how many lines you will expect expected so to do that we, we all know that the total number of lines is basically 2 n i plus 1 where is the n is the number of adjacent active nuclei i is the spin counter number of the adjacent nuclei and plus 1 so first let's see c h fluorine deuterium fluorine so you people may know that this hydrogen fluorine coupling is the high value coupling compared to hydrogen dot deuterium coupling and it is 2j coupling because 1 and 2 so this is 2 bond coupling and for the deuterium it is also 2 bond coupling so let's say deuterium is not there suppose let's assume then what happens this hydrogen will couple with fluorine now you have to know what is the spin quantum number of the fluorine the spin quantum number of fluorine i is equal to half and for the deuterium i is equal to 1 so in hf system so hydrogen how will couple so how many line you will expect the number of line the number of lines two in how many foreign is there one so one into what is the i value of the fluorine this is half plus one so that will that will be two to cut and so two so if the h8 point is there then the number of line should be two now let's assume that hydrogen in this system fluorine is not there only hd system is there so that time the number of lines would be 2 into n is how many deuterium is there only one deuterium what is the i value of the deuterium 1 plus 1 so 3 so you will expect 3 lines for the hd system so we have to draw the figure like this so first let's say hydrogen is coupled with fluorine because that coupling is high so hydrogen first it will split into a doublet so this is hd coupling and this is hydrogen so this hydrogen first is into a doublet due to the hd coupling after that sorry hf coupling because hf coupling so hydrogen first coupled with fluorine because HF coupling is the high value coupling. So it will give a doublet followed by it will again couple with deuterium. So that time what happened? So each line will again spin into a triplet. So each line again will split into a triplet. This is due to the is decoupling. So how many lines you will get? Six lines. So in one inch spectrum the compound will show six lines. Okay. So for more information you can watch this FPTL video. Thank you. It is clear or not? Yes sir. Okay, can you tell me then what will be the for HD? Let, let's say we have, I am giving one problem. Can you try to solve this? Now tell me how many people will get so sorry this is hydrogen
d is equal to for d i is equal to 1 for fluorine i is equal to half So ten. One minute, just the pain is not working. Just one minute. Okay. What will be the answer? We are trying to say one. So it's a ten, ten, ten. Okay. Let's solve this. So for HF coupling, it will show first. What will show? Let's say deuterium is not there. Only HF is there. So what? How many will show? It will show two lines, right? Doublet, right? Yes, sir. Is there or no? Doublet. Now how many deuterium is there? Two. Two. So two. N is how many deuterium is it? two? I is equal to deuterium is one plus one. So this is four plus one. So five. So every line will split into five. And this will also split into five. So total ten. Yeah, correct. Okay, then do C. D F F H for this multi. Sir, nine lines, nine peaks. Nine peaks. Any other answer? Let's solve this. So how many foreign is there? Two foreign is there. So two foreign is two foreign i value is half plus one. So two to cancel. So three. So first it will split into the three lines. Okay. Then after that, how many deuterium is there? Only one deuterium is there. So only deuterium means again three lines. Each line split will into three lines. So, nine lines, correct. So, I hope you will solve this question in next time in exam. So, now the another video. Hi, everyone. Now we're going to do.
Anyone can tell me the answer? What is LIH for role? Anyone knows? Role of lithium aluminum hydride? So it's a reducing agent. Okay. It will reduce what group? Which group? I mean, which type of group? Carbonyl acid, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Then hydrogen, palladium, carbon? Um, double bond. Okay. PPH3 water? Okay, no problem. Lithium liquid ammonia? That's a double, double bond, sir. Cis, uh, double bond reduction only. Uh, not in ketone, right? Yes, sir. Last time we have discussed this. I don't know. Okay. This is the PPH and water is the basically one name reaction called Stottinger reaction that will basically make azide to amine. So, we'll solve this. Discuss one gate one. question from gate 2016, question number 20. The most suitable reagent for performing the following transformation is, so this is our substrate and this is our product. In this substrate, there is alpha beta unsaturated ketone and here is the azide. And what they are performing, they are keeping intact this alpha beta unsaturated ketone and they are reducing the azide to amine. Okay, so we have to find out which option is correct. So that they use four different conditions: lithium aluminum hydride or hydrogen palladium carbon, PPH in water, lithium in liquid ammonia. So which will be the correct option for performing this following reaction? So to know that we have to first know few known reaction that is called Stodinger reaction and reduction. So where we basically use the triphenyl phosphine and and we convert the azide to the amine. So in triphenyl phosphine, what happened? This this phosphorus in plus three oxidation state, right? Now this lone pair is basically giving to the nitrogen center and this double bond will come here and after that this O N minus will come here and it will form this four members psychic tension state. After that there will be one like pericyclic reaction where the nitrogen glass will be released and it will form an immunophosphorin intermediate. This is immunophosphorin intermediate. This is immunophosphorin intermediate. So after that the water will attack here and this nitrogen center will come here. So after that H plus H minus because is this water H will come here after that this O will come here and this NH will come like this after that we will get the POPH3 that is an R CH2 NH2 so we are getting from azide to amine and the byproduct is POPH3 okay here the oxidation state is plus 5 so basically this phosphorus is oxidized and this azide basically reduced to amine. Okay, this is clear to all, this mechanism. Yes, sir. Okay, sometimes except water, we can also use like sodium hydroxide because water is less neutrophilic than sodium hydroxide. So, sometimes sodium hydroxide solution is added here because that time O will have purely negative charge. So, addition will be much more faster. Okay, that is another thing and this is this reaction is happening in water. Okay. And another problem in this reaction is that this POPH3 is coming throughout the column. So separation is also another problem in this type of reaction, this POPH3. Okay, just remember. Okay, and another thing is that if we want to reduce the alpha beta unsaturated ketone, keeping intact this ketone, and we are trying to reduce the only this double bond, that time the metal will be the good. So we can use lithium, sodium, like that type of metal will be good. So what happens, the so lithium basically gives one electron and it will form Li plus, plus electron and that electron will attack in this center. The electron will attack in this center and it will form corresponding anion 
and this anion basically stabilize due to this type of conjugation okay after that it will this radical will take another electron and it will form the corresponding carbon ion after that this oxygen will take another proton and it will keto anion automatism so it will stable in keto form so what happens is basically in presence of any metal source we are keeping intact this keto group and we are reducing this double bond okay so we have to find out who is absent is correct so in presence of lithium aluminium hydride any keto group will reduce to the corresponding Presence of Li Al H4. In presence of double bond, if double bond is there, if we use hydrogen palladium carbon, that time this double bond will be. At that time, double bond will be reduced and we will get R3, R4, H, R1, R2, and H. So, in to perform the only as I to amine that the PPC water is good because that time no reaction will happen in here. And in presence of lithium, lithium in liquid amine, that time this double bond will reduce. So, our correct option will be option number C. So, for more information, you can watch this NPTEL video. Thank you. Okay, it is clear to all? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any question? Sure. Okay, then I, I will get some problem. How you differentiate these two compounds? Can you tell me what type of technique you know? I mean, what type of techniques basically separate between two compounds? Mass spectrometry. Okay. Can we can we separate by mass? Yes.
any rearrangement you know from mass macle 40 yes sir little bit yes so in macle 40 what, what happened in this case c is 3 c double bond o o will be c h 2 and it will be c h c is 3 and h right so these oxygen non pair take this hydrogen this will go and this like go so we will go get c c c o h and here c double bond o right in this first molecule but in that option b what we will get c double bond o o c h 3 this is ch2 this is ch2 and this is ch2 and hydrogen so again same thing for this hydrogen will abstract by this this will come this will go so we will get coh double bond ch2 on och3 so so in their base peak we will get two different signal right one for different mass and another for this mass so using mass we can differentiate okay tell me any other technique you know this is clear or not in the basis of macle 40 rearrangement we can separate these two because the base the base peak should be macle 40 rearrangement peak and that will come in different mass any other technique tell me i will explain it is possible or not Tell me just any technique. There is many IR, mass, NMR, ORD, CD. Okay, in 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 one H N M R, it it will show triplet, right? It will show triplet, but here it will show singlet. So this triplet should be most downfield in one H N M R for this compound, but here singlet will be downfield because which is attached to the oxygen that should be most downfield in this compound. Okay. It is clear or not? Okay, in IR, difficult, right? In what DCD, we need chiral compound. This is not the chiral compound, so not possible. Okay. Okay, can you tell me which uh, how many signal it will show? Painted, sexted, hepted, nonet, what what signal it will show this hydrogen?
this type of question you will face in interview whether it is phd or any job interview they will ask you some basic basic question like this okay Okay, this will show sex state and this will show a triplet and again this is will show triplet. And this is singlet. Here this is singlet, this is triplet, this is again sex state and again this is triplet. And tell me how many 13 C peak we will get for this compound. How many 13 C peak we will observe for this compound? And how many 1 H peak we will observe for this compound? Two C thirteen. Yes. One inch for this methyl and another is this quaternal because this molecule is symmetric and for one inch. One. Yes. Because this has no proton and this has only CH3 group and that all are symmetrical. So four CH2 will show only one P. And it will be what? Singlet, quartet, triplet. What will be this CH3? Yes. Singlet one. Yes. Okay. Can you differentiate this? CH3 and CH in 13C, which photon, which pot, which carbon is which one? Can you see just seeing the spectra? We will get two peaks and one for CH3 and one other for quaternary carbon. So, can you differentiate just seeing the spectra? Okay, remember, always quaternary carbon have small peak always than any CH3 because it don't have any adjacent hydrogen. So that's why it will always show small peak. P carbonyl in 13C, ester, aldehyde, all will show a small peak like this. Whereas CH3, it will show a big peak. Okay, just seeing this, you can easily tell which one is quartet, quaternary carbon and which one is CH3 carbon. You don't need to go into the depth. 
9 dev 90 dev or on 35 no need to go just seeing the 13s you can already tell okay so is there any question otherwise we can stop for this day. Okay. If there is no question, then thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you, sir.